Okay, Libra, so <laughs> this is going to be your daily. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. Take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus live for more insight. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Who is your sweet thing? Okay, you guys got me over here singing and I was not in the best of energies today. Uh, I mean, I came in with, I will love you anyway. Even if you cannot stay, I think you are the one for me. It is where you want to be. So, I just want to satisfy you. If you're not mine, then I can't. You are in love with somebody, Leo. I mean, Libra could be a Leo. You're in love with someone, though. Wow. And that song just made me happy. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Or this is just the idea. It's like, even if this person cannot stay or they can't give you what, what you want, you you just sweet on them. Like, wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Look at that. The star card could be an Aquarius, but this is somebody that you see is like the. This is everything. This is your star. You're needing to make a decision about something, though. What is the decision that you're trying to make, Spirit? Whether or not you want to keep talking to this person or not, I feel like you need. You, you're taking a rest because this maybe. It, <sighs> Damn, sweet thing. So your sweet thing, right? I feel like they they causing some 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 turmoil in this in this situation, yeah. And you're rushing and demanding some type of communication from this person. With the star card to the tower, I feel like this shit is shocking you. It's like I can't believe I give a fuck about this person as much as I give a fuck about them. And this is causing you to have to think about the situation logically. You're like, yo, I don't know whether or not I should continue this because maybe this person has rejected you in the past or it's something that you feel like you need to reject here. But with the four of swords to the three of cups, this is definitely somebody you want to come out of the quiet with and talk to. Why is this tower here? The Herman mode, so somebody that you are holding at high regards is not speaking. And then with the star card, this can also be someone needing to heal from something that just happened. So take it how I resonate. Yep. This put this person that you that you cannot let go of is a player. They're having player energy. Now, with the two of swords here, uh, you're straddling the fence on whether or not you want to leave this person in the past. With the death card, you're like, you're my everything, but I will let you go. With the five of cups to the king of cups, I feel like you're trying to hold back your feelings for this person after they might have, uh, in some sort of way, denied you the feelings that they were supposed to, or they're not giving you enough of them. So you're like, well, I'm going to hold back too. And that's what this Four of Swords is here for. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands, you definitely have passion for this person. And you definitely want to give it to him. But I see you even trying with the Three of Pentacles. But look at that. I mean, with the Three of Cups. But look at that. Fucking more heartbreak. More sadness. Yeah, with the strength. So you're deciding that you're going to hold back from the situation. It could be a baby mom, baby dad. But I feel like you're, this person is confusing you. Because it's like, I don't you make they make you happy and then you know then they offer you this very little but again i will love you anyway even if you cannot stay so yeah this person is toxic this person is toxic but you love they toxic dirty little draws yeah six of swords with the will of fortune something is turning in your favor though yeah you're gonna get some truth okay and then you're you you might be rushing in Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, though. This might be some past betrayal. This is something that you're going to find out. Their energy is holding out or holding back. Let's just see. Or holding on, let's say. Yeah, they're holding on to you, though. 
They're holding on to you. And you're in hermit mode. You're not speaking to them right now. They're trying to get your happy back. Yeah, it's stressing them out because you're you're being guarded with them. You're falling back. They trying to offer you shit now with the Knight of Cups. This is something very tangible. Yep. With the four of wands, they're offering you a relationship. Now they're trying to come back and give you the stability again, I feel. With the king of coins to the high priestess, though, they know that they got to come and bring the A game this time. With the seven of, seven of wands to the moon, they're, they're blocking. They're not telling you their deep emotions, though. Because they feel like that's going to... that's they, they might feel like this is a weakness for them. They feel like it's a weakness for them to tell you exactly how they feel. With the Five of Wands, there's some conflict here. With this, this Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands could be you. Yeah. Because you feel like there's a situation in the past that this person is still given to. And that's breaking your heart. With the three of wands to the five of swords so you're being petty you're like you know what i'm gonna wait this out and with the knight of swords that might make this person curse you out and then they feel because they feel left out and they feel like you're their wife and they want to give you something or you feel like this is your wife but however way they want to come in and they want to offer you something serious could be a high ticket price item a, a car a ring a, a, a house it's something that they want to do or give to you but that's only see i'm gonna stop saying that because that's that's not true this doesn't necessarily mean that they have to give you something big they can give you what they can afford okay so if you, the, your person is not in the realm of giving you a car a house or some type of high ticket it's high ticket price for them whatever i don't give a fuck if they got five dollars and they give you five candy bars that's what they could give you you know, if they if they only had enough to get you a dozen of roses, that was that was their high ticket price item to try to manifest this back with you. Tell me more. Justice, that's you. Four swords, but you like I'm I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this because I want something stable. And this person is coming into you with too much conflict. But I'm gonna love you anyway. Maybe that's how this person feels about you too. You both love each other. There's a lot of love here. A lot of wanting to offer each other love. Okay, spirit. Give me the outcome, spirit. Give me the outcome. Yep. I see you working on something new here, Libra. I see you going after something new here, but you're a little bit blocked off because of what happened in the past. But you're definitely taking this new leap of faith towards this, this new person because you feel like, I need to balance myself out and this is not happening with this old person. They're too blocked off. The fool is not even looking at this guarded person anymore. They're they're going towards something that can level them off, which is great. Okay, yeah, with the page of cups at the bottom of the deck, you could actually be going back to someone else. You could be going back to someone else. Because this person might be the one that balances you out. This might be even have a scent. This person, this person that you you might be going to give this page of cups with might have been divinely guided for you to, this whole time. This person could actually be someone with the high priestess here who um who who knows? Priestess is she who knows. This person might be into the spiritual realm. This person might be able to talk to your soul. Give me some advice, spirit. The star card. You need to heal. Yep. We need to heal. At all costs, we need to heal, okay? The seven of swords is not always a deceptive card. This is the card strategically planning. So, you need to work on... You're, you're trying to come up with a plan to heal yourself and balance out the situation. Maybe it's because you know you want to move towards this new person, but you still have this old person. Or you have some residual things going on that is kind of stunting the growth of, of this page of cups that you want to give. Look, justice. That's you. That's you here trying to give justice to your own love, to someone new. And with the eight of, eight of Wands, I feel you actually telling this, this other person, like, listen, this is what I'm going through. 
with the six of cups you're not going back to the past anymore and i feel like this past person that you're trying that you're ending things with this is the person that you will not be going back towards because at the end of the day even though i feel like this past person might be coming back to offer you something else this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with that you really seeing a future with yeah you could have been living with this person with the four wands this is this is a home stable relationship this is a home stable relationship and this is somebody it could have been the cancer pisces and scorpio that you were in it with but it's over with the world card it's ran full circle here whatever you were supposed to do with this person learn about this person have with this person you've done that already all right thank you guys